My name is Kenneth Barker, I'm the clinical lead of the National Green Theatres Programme based at the Centre of Sustainable Delivery in the Golden Jubilee. The principle of it is to look at any process, uh, any piece of equipment, any drug or pharmaceutical and ask the question can we do it better from an environmental standpoint. Energy use in theatres is very high, it's about six times as much as an average part of the hospital and uh, this is the reason why uh, ventilation in theatres is, is a high drawer of energy. Um, so is an anaesthetic gas scavenging pump that we use and it seems that um, over the years this has become a manually uh, controlled system and it generally speaking runs 24-7 throughout the year so there's a huge draw of energy but also a very much a waste of energy during times that theatres aren't used. What we're looking to do is uh, develop a system that's not person dependent but is automated um, so that during the night the system is switched off and even during times of uh, daylight hours but perhaps not utilised, nobody in the theatre then it will set, it'll go to a setback mode. The volatile gases that you see here for an anaesthetising patient, we have two of them. We used to have three including a drug called desflurane but we found um, that it was 60 times as bad for the environment as the best one, uh, this yellow gas sevoflurane. So that is now discontinued in, in my hospital and now in fact from February this year discontinued uh, as a contract at National Procurement in Scotland and we're the first country in the world to do that. Um, we also have a programme for disconnecting nitrous oxide from the back of our anaesthetic machines. Uh, we still have it available, but what that does is reduce waste from manifolds of nitrous oxide. 